Hello, I'm Ralph Holloway with the Woodland Park Arts Alliance, and we're here to talk about the Antler Alley project, which was one of the main projects of the Woodland Park Arts Alliance. Little history, the uh, Antler back on Highway 24, the Antler Arch, it was started years and years ago by Kent Austin, who had an, an antler shop in this uh, building right next door. Uh, eventually, the antlers deteriorated and became very dangerous. They were falling, uh, breaking apart, and we had to take them down. And at that time, the Woodland Park Arts Alliance took on that project to try to rebuild this. And in doing so, we were able to build the arch that's behind with a lot of donations from local citizens and uh, organizations here in Woodland Park. And after that, we built the second arch at the other end on the parking lot. We named it the uh, whole thing Antler Alley. After completing the arch down on Highway 24 and getting it into good shape, a few years later, we decided to put in this additional arch, and uh, this was done by a lot of community support here in, with individuals, organizations, and businesses. We built the, uh, the pillars, had the arch built, had the sign built, and now we're in the process of trying to finish it up with the antlers. We were very fortunate to find somebody by the name of Johnny Keogh. Johnny has done a lot of antlers all across the United States. Uh, Jackson Hole, Wyoming is one of the places that uh, I'm sure you've seen those antlers there. And he was the one who's done our antlers here for this and the other arch down there. And we're very grateful that we were able to find Johnny. We're just now, as I said, in the process of trying to complete. He was here about a month ago. He got the the elk shed, uh, which is the main structure for this arch. And now we're going to try to do some fill with some deer antlers. And then we will put the lights in. And those have been done by Dale Pittock, uh, who is a an electronic genius. He's the one that's had all of the lights. You've seen them probably flashing at night, uh, changing colors. Uh, they can change based on seasons, uh, whatever we want to do. And the other thing that we're hoping to do is to get some students at the Woodland Park High School to take this on as an electronics project and let them continue this and understand uh, how to do some of the Marvel electronics that uh, Dale has created. This is John Butera, and I'm here with Johnny Keyhole, the owner of JMK Designs. Thank you very much. And he is doing a building project for the Woodland Park Art Alliance. And it's the arch work that has started about two years ago that he did. And now we're in the uh, second phase of it. Johnny, can you tell me a little bit about oh, what's kind of inspired you to get involved with this? Um, I was born and raised in the mountains, but I did not like working inside of a building. So after I got a degree in economics, uh, we went ahead. We did this all through college, me and 13 buddies of mine. And from there, it went to chandeliers, to metal art, to building signs for farms. And then we do furniture for uh, Julian Brothers Furniture. And Jerry and them asked me to do them a favor to make the first arch. And then you guys raised some money to do the second arch. So we pretty much kind of volunteered in a way to come up and get it up and get it done before Christmas. Uh, this is just another one of the projects of the Arts Alliance. We've uh, done a number of things through the years. Uh, we did benches, the art benches that are around through town. The big mural that's on the Ute Pass Cultural Center was one of our projects. And then this one, which is called Antler Alley.
We've uh, tried to raise a lot of funds through the past couple of years and have just run a little bit of short of uh, being able to completely fill the antler arch like we, the first one is on Highway 24. So we're going to go ahead and put up the, the antlers that we have, but we're hoping that just maybe you might consider making a contribution to the Woodland Park Arts Alliance going to the Antler Alley project and we can get more antlers and fill it in and get this thing finished and make it look like the front arch on Highway 24. So if you're inclined, uh, we hope that you will look at the uh, address that's going to be at the end of this where you can make that kind of a contribution and help us finish this arch and fill it in completely. It will uh, help us finish all of the projects that we've done. Uh, for example, the art benches that are through town. Uh, you've enjoyed those hopefully in the past uh, seven or eight years. And then the big project that we finished down at U Pass Cultural Center, uh, the mural. And quite frankly, there's just a little bit of that project that's left to do too. We want to put the, some QR codes up so that as people walk along, they can uh, hit those QR codes and it will tell them about each one of the panels that are up on the uh, Ute Pass Cultural Center on the big mural there and explain what all the, the images are on that. And that's another one that uh, if you'd like to make a contribution, we would greatly appreciate it. And that will help us finish these two projects and bring them to completion. Once again, the Woodland Park Arts Alliance with thanks you for everything that you've done. A lot of individuals have made contributions. The city of Woodland Park has been great in working with us and the Main Street program also. So thank you to all of the people who have worked and helped us do these projects and we look forward to doing much more in our beautiful city of Woodland Park, Colorado.